Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be continuing with another lot of drives and this drive is manufactured by Lens. It's a Lens SMD module. It is completely superseded uh, unit. It's no longer being manufactured by SMD for quite some time and the new drives are ready. The direct replacements for this guy has come out already. But nevertheless, I still come across a lot to these drives. So I, and, uh, often I like, oh my God, how do how do how do work with this drive and this like? So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do a three-part video. But nevertheless, on this channel, we are gonna be covering no matter what age the drive is, we're gonna be covering them all. So again, as usual, three-part video. We're gonna commission, set some parameters, see how the things work, how to get your head around the menu and things like that, and run the drive in a local run, uh, if it's possible. I hope. It is maybe probably it's not even possible to run in a local a local drive, but definitely we're going to be finding that out. So uh, and obviously third video we're going to look at more controls to see uh, set up if there is a possibility for two or three wire controls and things like that. If there is that option, and as usual again on third video we're going to be looking at how to do that uh, if it's possible. Again, I have no idea how much you can do with this drive. Uh, to be the MOP control, which is a two push button uh, frequency control and uh, multi frequency. I hope so. It should should be okay for the multi frequency. And so we are definitely gonna be checking out what is capability, what capability, what capabilities this drive has. So uh, and uh, before we get started, I'd like to say that uh, if you guys haven't checked that out, uh, do check out our uh, eBay page where all of these items I am covering on my channel and many 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 more industrial electronics goods are all listed on our eBay page. And there's a reason we are using the eBay, eBay for selling because it gives us a very, very wide mar worldwide market that everybody can access uh, and see what we've got in stock rather than just, just UK based. So if you're looking for anything from anywhere in the world, we got you. So uh, you can find, you can buy everything on uh, our store on eBay and all the payments and things like that are covered through it. So definitely check us out. So without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, all wired up. So let's have a look at the wiring now. So uh, right in the end on the bottom is a UVW. This is where you're going to be sending your motor. There's a PE and PE down here, both of them are used for the DC brake. And your input is going to be right under here on the top. So uh, L1, L2 and uh, obviously the earth. These two control buttons is basically a maneuver in between the menu, uh, menu up and down. And obviously to enter the menu, just click enter. And in the, in the front, what we've got in here, we've got 789 are, are uh, sort of uh, allocated for a potentiometer. Uh, 20 is our 12 volt source, whatever reason they're using 12, usual, usually it's 24 bar, it's 12. And obviously to activate the drive will need to be going to uh, in between 20 and 28, so that will need to be closed sort of, enable the drive. And then obviously E1, E2, E3 is uh, extra inputs for which are can be fully programmed, which you're going to get into it in, uh, probably in the next video. And the last but not least is this K14 and K12 is a relay as well, uh, which is um, a digital output. And uh, it can be programmed as well uh, for different type of things uh, if you wish to. And we are gonna be getting quite creative in the next video of uh, basically trying to achieve three wire control using uh, K14 and K12. So that pretty much is the overview of our whole thing. And to enter, enter the uh, menu itself, it's pretty much just click and enter for whatever reason it always goes to C61 and then up and down you sort of go through all the uh, menu itself it's not big menu it's, it's literally uh, quite a skeleton version of the drive it's probably the one of the most easiest uh, i have worked with when it comes uh, comes to uh, sort of understanding the menu and things like that so probably that's why a lot of people are still using it so uh uh, let's get to uh, commissioning the drive. Okay, and before we start resetting the, uh, not resetting, setting up the commissioning the drive, I quickly talk about a, uh, a, a drive initialization. So you, should, you can sort of load lens settings, but I think, believe those lens settings very much depends on the what sort of software version you have in your drive. So be aware of that. So there is a possibility that, that your uh, defaults will not be set exactly what the manual says it is. 
So you can do that in uh, C, I believe C is the C02, and check out in the manual what each number means. And I think I have only one group here, yeah, which is a 50 hertz group. So uh, I'm not going to do that because I already done that. So uh, uh, I'm going to get straight to the uh, drive commissioning. And to do that, first we're going to do is uh, go to the C1. The C1 is where we are going to select what sort of a set point control we're going to be using. And we are going to be using a uh, later on in the video. So we're going to be using just the front control for potentiometer, which is for the next video. But for this video, we are going to be actually controlling the, the frequency with up and down buttons in here. You can't, as you can see, there's no start stop button on here. You can't start and stop button without a small external curse, uh, control where you need to close the 20 and 28. So uh, I will be choosing the option, oops, I'll be choosing option one, which will allow me to use these two buttons later on. So uh, next I'm gonna set a minimum maximum frequency, which is a C10. Minimum is great. As you can see, my maximum frequency stands 57. It's an odd number, very odd number. So I'm gonna lower that down to uh, 50. Thank you very much. My acceleration, let's change that to one just for demonstration purposes let's go to that one change that to one as well the acceleration and that and the next one we're going to be looking at is a um a car, um, configuration of analog input so we need to make, just make sure we're using a zero to ten for later on 34 this is where you pretty much select a uh, what sort of voltage you're going to be using and how many numbers are in here? Yeah, it is all three in there. So you can, it goes all the way from zero and zero stands for zero to 10 volts. So that's exactly what we need. So, uh, and the last but not least, we're gonna set up the current. Current is the unusual way of doing it for this drive. You need to go for the small C number, which is gonna be C20. In the C20, the way you need to set up, it is actually in percentages. So you take a, a drive current and motor current. So take a motor current divided by drive current will give you the percentage what you need to set in. And I've already done that and my percentage is 66%. So that's how you achieve your overload. So make sure the drive shuts down when it reaches uh, that uh, free, uh, that uh, current and it, I think it's a certain, a certain amount of time stays on it and if it continues, it will shut it down. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will be it when it comes down when you're trying to set up this drive. The thing left to do is now to try it out. So uh, I got stationed here where I have a, uh, a, a Terminal 20 coming to my uh, e-stop, going through my e-stop, going to my start stop and goes back to Terminal 28, pretty much to enable the drive to go. So uh, that's what it pretty much does. And to do that, all we need to do is flip the switch now. As you can see, drive says uh, whatever the bloody SCP, whatever the SCP or something that made. It doesn't know. It doesn't know what it needs to do. Pretty much, it doesn't have a frequency. So all we need to do, we need to go to uh, C40. Yes, C40. And by going up with up and down buttons, we can run our motor i hope you can see the mirror so if you wish to control your frequency that way you can control it from front keypads in here in the next video we're going to look at it uh, controlling a little bit with uh, uh, terminals uh, uh, differently so when you shut it down let's see if he i'm not sure he does it leave this yes it keeps the it keeps the frequency at all times so you can do that as well so uh that ladies and gentlemen will be it for that first video and uh, hopefully it makes sense it is fairly easy drive fairly easy to work with as long as you understand the uh, ins and outs of uh, the only things you need to uh, look out when you do the, the drive reset to make sure that uh, things like quick stop or uh, uh, three preset or uh, no, no, I mean a trip trip set or uh, up and down things and things like in uh, in these parameters in here 
Make sure they are not conflicting in any way and they will prevent your drive starting, especially this guy and quick stop in here. If that quick stop by any chance is selected in any of those a CE, uh, your drive will just not going to start and not going to tell you what the problem is. So uh, I thought I'd point that out. So other than that, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you liked the video, please smash that like. If you don't, dislike it, comment below and let me know uh, any questions you have. I will do my best to answer them as quick as I can. And other than that, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video.